In this video, I want to have a look at overtime and penalty rates. So if people who are paid a wage are often paid penalty rates when they work overtime, so more than their usual hours. If they work on weekends or public holidays, sometimes they can get penalty rates for that. Or if they have to work really late at night or really in the, early in the morning. The two most common types of penalty rates are time and a half and double time. So double time means you get paid twice as much per hour, and time and a half means you get paid one and a half times your normal hourly rate of pay. So for example, if you work a two hour shift, if you're getting paid at time and a half, it's like you're being paid for three hours. If you were working double time, working a two hour shift, you'd get paid as if you had worked a four hour shift. So let's have a look at what that means with some numbers. So we've got our first example, Andy works in retail and his normal hourly rate of pay is $9.80. It asks us to calculate his hourly rate of pay if he's being paid time and a half and then double time. So if he's being paid time and a half, instead of getting $9.80 for each hour that he works, he's going to get one and a half times this. So for part A, we're going to go $9.80 times 1.5 and that's going to give us $14.80. 70. So instead of getting $9.80 for every hour he works, he's now going to get $14.70. For part B, if he's getting paid a double time, we're going to take our normal hourly rate of pay and times it by 2, so he'd be getting $19.60 per hour instead. Our second example tells us that Maggie earns time and a half on Sundays and double time if she works on public holidays. Her normal hourly rate of pay is $11.25 per hour. We're asked to calculate Maggie's pay if she works seven hours during the week at her normal rate, she works five hours on a Sunday and four hours on a public holiday. So we've got our seven hours that are just her normally rate, normal rate of pay. So to calculate how much she's going to get paid for those, we can go seven times 11.25. To figure out how much she's getting paid on these five hours on a Sunday, on a Sunday we know that she's getting paid time and a half on Sundays time and a half. So we'd take our five, we'd multiply that by our normal hourly rate of pay, so 11.25, but then we'd have to also multiply that by 1.5 because it's time and a half. Um, if we have a look at the public holiday then, we've got the four hours on public holiday, so four hours. Her normal hourly rate of pay is 11.25, but she's getting paid double time on public holidays, so we're going to times that by two. So to figure out how much she gets paid all up, we're going to add all of those things together. So when we pop that all in the calculator and figure it out, she's going to end up getting $253.13. Just a reminder that we always round to two decimal places when we're talking about money. Now let's have a look at one last example. So we've got Peter is a chef and he earns $14.60 per hour for the first 30 hours that he works each week. Time and a half for the first five overtime hours worked, so if he works more than 30 hours, the next five hours over that he's getting time and a half, and anything above that he's then getting double time. We're asked to calculate his pay for working a 38 hour week. So for the first 30 hours he's going to get that $14.60. We're going to go 30 times $14.60. But he's worked 38 hours, so for the next five hours he's going to get time and a half, so we're going to go five times 14.60 times 1.5 and for anything above that he's going to get double time. So we've got our 30 hours, we've got our 5 hours, that brings us up to 35, but he's worked 38 hours. So that means he's worked another 3 hours over that and he's going to get paid double time for those. So we're going to go our 3 times 14.60 times 2 and again we're going to add all of those together to figure out how much he gets paid all up. And that's going to give us his final income of $635.10 for that whole week. So that's having a look at overtime and penalty rates.